As we've seen, making a good first impression is vital to the success of your pitch, but that's something our next entrepreneurs should know plenty about. With backgrounds in marketing and fashion, Paula and Fiona are looking for €100,000 for 15% of their business. Hi, my name is Paula Rabbit. And hi, I'm Fiona Ford. Um, we're here today to introduce our company, The Fashion Shed. The Fashion Shed is currently pioneering a change in the way women buy clothes online. Um, we're the only website that actually offer a personal service in Ireland. Um, the service that we provide is styling, um, body shaping, and basically what we do is um, help you with any of the latest trends that are happening in the market. The problems encountered by women when shopping online are as follows. One, the try-on factor. Two, sizing varies from brand to brand. And three, women do not know if the latest styles and trends will suit them. The problem shed, the fashion shed solves these problems but through the styling parties. Um, the styling parties consist of, we have fully trained stylists, we will send them to your home free of charge. What they will do with you in the evening is they will create whatever trend that you're wishing to create in your wardrobe. They will also be able to help you look slimmer or taller and basically they will be using our own product line which is an exclusive range of designer fashion at high street prices to help you, um, we say, get your um, wardrobe into line with the current trends in the market at the moment. Today we are here to pitch for 100,000 for 15% share in our company. Any questions? The girls' pitch seems to have caught the imagination of our male dragons. But ultimately, the figures they'll be really interested in are on the company's balance sheet. 100,000 euro is a lot of money, so investors will be looking for plenty of profits in return. Paula, Fiona, how are you doing? I'm Hi. Gavin. Uh, hello, Hi. ladies. The business, how many parties have you held? What's been the turnover? Um, we've actually done 60 parties, 20 of them were actually just test marketing. What we wanted to do was find out exactly what women wanted when a stylist would actually approach them so that we knew exactly what to bring to the market. You've done 60 parties. Turnover from those 60 parties? 26,000. Paula, Fiona, I am Sean. It's a, a very attractive business, uh, the fashion industry. Tell me, who do you think is your target market? How would you profile your customers? We know our target market is the 24 to 36 year old. We've found that the younger girls are much, they have much more time, they go through more magazines and they do tend to um, get the trends a little bit faster than we'll say the 24 to 36 year old. Recognising your target market is of course a vital part of any business plan. But Niall seems to have some concerns about the basic structure of the girls' company. These are two completely different businesses, doing styling parties and your internet shop. Internet, the whole thing about it is it's global. We are based here in Ireland. We do have to generate revenue and we want our online store to be known as economically and as fast as possible within the Irish market. Like what are you going to sell? Selling other brands? Is it? No, absolutely not. Selling um, I'm a designer your own myself connection. and we yes. can actually supply anything we need to this particular website. Unbranded? No, they're the Fashion Shed branded. The Fashion Shed? Yeah. Okay. How much are each of these dresses? Just, hmm? just run, we'll just retail price. Yeah, 65 euro for the furthest one. This one here is 55, 65, 65, 65, 65. When we actually get up to a little bit more volume, we can bring down the price slightly for the customer because we will be saving on the cost of the stock. To someone unfamiliar with the world of fashion, it can seem like a strange and exotic place. And Bobby Kerr, for one, seems to be finding it all a wee bit confusing. Maybe it's my sense of fashion, but I'm really struggling with this. Okay. Um, if I go into the website yeah. and I see a picture of those four dresses yeah. and I click size 12 on that second one there, yeah, yes. Is that there somehow it's or is there, that yeah, we, made up? No, no, no we have 35,000 worth of stock currently in okay, the Okay, now fashion. I'm getting yeah. somewhere. And what do you propose doing with my 100,000 euros? Um, we're actually going to put 45,000 into stock. That's due to, um, we want to increase the variety of stock that we're actually um, selling online. We're also looking for 30,000 for the full maintenance and the full marketing for the global website. Um, and then with 25,000 is actually for offline marketing. Having found out where their money is going, it's now up to the dragons to decide if they're going to hand it over. Sarah Newman wants to find out more about the girls' background. How long did it take both of you to become stylists? Well, I'm actually designing clothes for the last two years. I worked in department stores 
for about eight years. So my trade really was from the ground upwards. I dressed every age group from top to bottom. And it's not one of these, th like, we're technical stylists. We can actually tell you how to hide any area of your body that you're not comfortable with, and we accentuate the rest. Okay. You said earlier you were going to train other women Absolutely. to be stylists, but Absolutely. it takes years. Well, what we do in the styling parties is, because it's very trend-driven, they're able to give you the latest looks and the latest styles. And also, we'll say you've got four different body shapes, right? And they're giving the key tips for those particular body shapes in a party for any person that is sitting there. I'm struggling to see where you'll get your sales from on a, on a global scale, maybe on a localised st scale and word of mouth doing a few parties. And I don't think you did your homework quite well enough because your target market is 24 to 36 and I'm 39. Right. And I could have been a customer and now I'm not because you've cut me out. It, that's so you can't answer that because I'm out and I love fashion. So one fashionable 30-something opts out, but will her fellow dragons follow suit? For his part, Gavin Duffy still seems pretty enthusiastic about what he's seen. Look, this could be a Bermuda Triangle. Your business is going to disappear, but I, I think it's a triangle of opportunity. You're bringing together three elements. Stay in, which I think is going to be very big in these times. You, you also have e-tailing, and styling is the big thing. Absolutely. My problem is I see you two as the Trini and Susanna of Mayo and Galway, you know. I, I, and I know you mightn't like that. I, I'm not sure you're going to grow beyond that, but here's the killer. Uh, I don't see it as a business to invest in and, and, and grow. I, I actually can't see the return. But I actually do like the idea, but it's an idea I'm not investing in, so, so I'm out. But good luck with it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. Yeah, you know, ladies, I, I want to say that I actually think that you have a very good business idea based on my limited knowledge of, of fashion. And I wish that I knew something about this business because I could get excited about it. But unfortunately, the bad news is I don't. So I'm out. OK, thank you very no much. Problem. Three dragons down, two to go. There seems to be a feeling that the girls have something good, just not good enough to warrant the investment. What's Niall O'Farrell's view? Fashion business, it's, it's hard, very hard to get a return on. If you look at all the stations at the moment, the competition, and from the Far East, it's great to see what you're doing for that price point. But I let it go, and hopefully I'll be regretting it for your sake. So I'm out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Niall may look like he's already regretting that decision, but his exit leaves the way clear for Bobby Kerr, a man who admits to a special interest in the girl's styling skills. As somebody who's been struggling with their body shape for years, <laughs> I, w I would have loved to have put an investment in and get, and get some free consultation. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm out. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So, although the Dragons felt Fashion Shed had definite potential, in the end, its lack of global appeal left them cold.